Uh, for the postman, Professor Belly Mail. This is not a glorification or a glamorization. This is an education. You can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and 15. Lock the door. Professor Melly Mel, the Hood Post, man. Who I'm here with today? Floss the Boss, man, from that LBC. What's man, good, shout man? out to the LBC. What's good, Floss? Floss. Yes, sir. Growing yes, up sir. in the LBC, what side of town did you actually live on in the LBC? Man, I'm born and raised on the east side of Long Beach, which is called the 6th District. You know what I'm saying? We talking council talk. But uh, I was born in St. Mary's Hospital, 1965. Born and raised in Long Beach, the east side. As everybody know, the east side. That's where I was born, baby. The East Side have a unique perspective in and how it was developed because during the sixth, I think some of the first presence of black people was like really, really in Long Beach from way back, way, way back. back. I think my grandparents, my grandparents been married was over sixty years. They, I think they came down in the. I want to say the fifties or the thirties. It might have been between the thirties and the fifties. You know what I'm saying? From Louisiana. You I know. think the shipyard, the longshoremen, and all that, and, and naval shipyard had a lot, and plus the navy, the naval the base navy, used to be. The navy, yeah. Used to be. I think that played a big part in why people were down there. You know, of course, we used to have fun at the Long Beach Pike. pike. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a new pike though, but not the Pike of old. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. Pike. That was a big attraction. So let's get into what school did you go to, Floss? Actually. I went to Milliken High School. It was all white back then, you know what I'm saying? I lived down the street from Poly High, though, but my grandmother was like, nah, you're not finna go to school with your boys, you know, that's everybody from the hood, my friends, all this. So I was bust, and plus that was the first busing program that uh, Long Beach had, so they bust us out to Milliken, which is about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, but it was predominantly white, you know what I'm saying? Close to Lakewood, shall I say, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I went to Milliken High School, you know what I'm saying? And what was that experience like for you, though? I mean, being that at that time, probably wasn't many blacks there. And the, the blacks that was coming to Milliken uh, was getting kicked out of Poly, getting kicked out of all the other schools, so they was ended up there. So it was just all the homies from the hood anyway, you know what I'm saying? But it was trip because it was still, that racism was there. You know, these kids don't experience that, like, well, like you know, that taste of racism, that black and white thing was real deep back then, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the white boys that... The older white boys that, 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 that was older than us used to try to fight us because we was getting bust out. You know, they didn't like us coming to their school. You know, we had to go through that shit before gang banging, before the gang banging shit took off. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 before the gang banging and the, all of that. What is your earlier memories of gang banging? Man, like I said, I did an interview uh, with Alonzo, Street TV. Shout out to Alonzo. Shout out to Alonzo. And, and uh, I explained to him, man, that uh, back in the day, Long Beach, like you mentioned, the pipe. Long Beach, all the all the OGs, the homies, they was it was anybody that was coming to Long Beach, they was keeping out of Long Beach. You know what I'm saying? Like Compton, LA, you know, whatever. If you wasn't from Long Beach, that's how those dudes was doing it back then. But for my for my age group, the dudes that I grew up, Reese Cup, who brought the cribbing to Long Beach. Or okay. the twenties, shall I say. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But before then, it was more hustling going on in Long Beach than, you know what I'm saying, car stealing and, and dope selling, you know what I'm saying? Before the gang banging really, I say the gang banging really, really started getting deep in the early 90s, shall I say? You know what I'm saying? After the drug, after the blacks fell out the drug game and all this and all of that, you know what I'm saying? That thing. And what's so unique about Long Beach, everybody always asks me about Long Beach, man. Yes, half the dudes from Insane and half the dudes from Twitter are actually really related. Which is a curse to me, you know that, what I'm saying? That is a curse, That's, man. Because everybody I've been trying always to, asks Flossie that question. I've been trying to get my head around that for quite some time. I think you've asked me that before, baby. Yeah, yeah, how yeah. does that dynamic work, it, though? It's Flossie? really it's, it's 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 sad, man. It's a curse, man. You know what I'm saying? Where 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 even I I got a homeboy. I can go to to, to this mom house, you know. And it's the grandmama and half the cousins is from insane, other half is from twenties. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, it works though, but it's, it's a curse, though. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the curse I think Long Beach got on us, man. You know, we got on us. You know, we got and two then, predominantly black gangs on the east side. 
are literally flat family. And then there's literally no bloods in Long Beach, right? Never has been. Never has been. So either from the north, the south, the east, or the west, it's all just Crips. Crips, yes. So being in that dynamic, what part of, where were you from? Or, or were you actually any, from anywhere? Or you just happen to be in between both? Well, see, in my area I come from, I, I'm going to say, if somebody asks me, I'm, I represent Long Beach first. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. True enough. Oh uh, yeah, I have, I holler twenties. I'm from twenties. You know what I'm saying? But I got cousins and family from insane. You know what I'm saying? And all the all the OGs my age that's insane and, and niggas my age that's twenties. We all grew up together, so it, that funk really ain't there compared to how it is with the youngsters. You know what I'm saying? All of us function together really, kind of. You know the older ones. You know what I mean? Man, some of my guys is, is Jim Dog, uh, Ken Dog. A Rob Dog, of course, Rob. Oscar Carter, Bam, a big insane, big big insane, yeah, uh, uh, little all insane, a uh, boy blue. Uh, See, all them is the generation you talk about. It was like the first generation, you know right. what I'm saying? Way right. before the babies came out. And big Bandit, big Bandit. Bouncer, yeah, big rest in peace, big. That's the big homie, big Bouncer. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them's all. See, all them dudes is real East Side. It was like East Side. It was Long Beach. Or nothing back then, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And then the division just came when the younger generations came. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's just it yep. ain't it ain't as bad as how it used to be as the first right now because Long Beach is real turned down right now. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right. it is it ain't like you know what I'm saying. You know people done moved on with their lives and this and that. You still got a few youngsters that come here and there, but it ain't all turned up the war. Like it was with the Longos and and the, and the, the Asians was out there doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? No, it ain't like that now. The Asian boys and the, what was the other one? <laughs> the T R G. T R G. Yeah, I, shout out to them, man. I, Tiny I, Rascals. I remember when they first in the '80s when they first start coming to Long Beach. You know what I'm saying? When they first start, they moved right into my area where I, where we was on the east side. And there was like a, a lot of Guamanians as well, right? Yeah, Guam people from. Were Guam. they Crips? Yeah, basically they was. See what happened. When 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 the, when the TRGs came in, when when the Cambodians start all coming in to migrating into Long Beach, that mm -hmm. was when they first came. They came to Long Beach, right? Mm -hmm. So at that time, the war with the Longos and the Blacks was at at an all time high in Long Beach on the east side. You know what I'm saying? So as the TRGs came in, that war with the Blacks kind of took a back seat, and the TRGs and the Mexicans start getting into it real tough. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That was the where, where big war. So that's where they came into play. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that kind of, I think that kind of eased the war back with the blacks and the Mexicans at, at one time. It kind of eased up because the Mexicans and, and the TRGs was going at it real tough. You know what I'm saying? But yep. uh, that's it. Lock the door. Straight out of Compton, original streets Grew up with the lion, see what the criminals see Now he a giant and a pivotal key Got it down to a science, this the visual streets He came up with bullet, he came up with turtle Live life to the fullest, he put it all in the journal We dodging them bullets, we jumping them hurdles It's the hood postman, we in the streets, universal uh. For the postman, Professor Billy Mill This is not a glorification or a glamorization This is an education you can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and 15. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door.